it's very, very, it's actually very simple. All I'm doing is collecting water that, uh, that ends up on the roof, um, collects into the barrel here, and this is then used for um, watering the flowers or watering the lawn. And then you'd hook up a just Yep, a just hook up a hose up to the spigot here, and it's uh, gravity fed. So there's, they're actually split into two units here. This is a lower unit and then my unit's upstairs here. Come on in. There we go. A little bit more light. And so this is the end here where all the doors for the containers were, and it was very easy then to take all the doors off and make this a whole glass wall. But because it's such a tall and narrow structure, what we had to do is we had to put in this X bracing here to uh, prevent the containers from racking back and forth. So once this X bracing was placed in the one side, it actually stabilized the other side because this other side was then welded to it. So when you had to cut out the center section, what we had to do um, was then reinforce that so that the top then wouldn't kind of sag down and that the bottom wouldn't be sort of, you know, sagging as well. In order to do that, we put in this steel structure that you see here, the uprights and then the steel across the top, and that kind of tied it back together again. So this is the main living space here. Uh, you've got your living room, and then the kitchen over here, uh, dining area here. And this here is my office, and it actually does double duty. It's also a um, guest bedroom. Just kind of close the drapes there and there's a Murphy bed that folds out of the wall, which I can show you. So that just kind of pulls down and I can't pull it all the way down because I'm at the desk here, so. <laughs> and there's a second bathroom here and there's a shower in it so that the guests can use this one here. As a, so it doubles as a powder room as well as a second bathroom for guests. I guess now we're going to just head down and take a look at the bedroom. And so this is my bedroom here, set up a little differently. It's a very open bathroom right there and bedroom right here. What is that in there? That's a, uh, it's actually a combination washer dryer. So that um, you only have to have one unit. So again, because it's a fairly small living space, I had to be sort of efficient with everything. Okay, right here, this is you can sort of see on the floor, this is where the uh, walls were cut out from the original container. So these are two containers side by side, and this is where they joined together. So these walls were cut out the top and the bottom, and then these steel supports were welded in, as well as the steel beams there on the top. The, um, these are actually the original floors from the container. So the floors and containers are actually made from wood. It's a, a teak plywood. And they do that, I guess, so that they can, you know, um, screw things down or whatever they need to do in order to hold uh, things in place when they're um, in transit. In keeping sort of with the green uh, theme of the, uh, the house here, these are actually made from recycled rubber. So you can see up there in the background, there's the Western Hotel. And that hotel actually lost about half the glass when the tornado came through the, uh, through the city. But I actually only lost one window. And this is where I came down and hid during the tornado. <laughs> Tell me where we're going. We're going into the, the garage here. And just watch your, it's kind of, actually, I don't know if I, this, the structural members that we had to put in. Okay. And this supports the containers in the two spots where you see the uprights. So all the uprights come down onto these load-bearing uh, steel beams. 